So we're going to talk about how to protect your light sensors from the ambient light. So you may have encountered this before or you may not. But what's happening is depending on the lighting of the room you're in, your light sensors will read different things. And that can be a problem, for example, if you're a competition day, you have your work your robot working perfectly and then you need to follow a line and it doesn't work at all and you're like and you're wondering what's the problem and that might be the problem that your sensors are doing two different things between where you were and where you are at the competition so to show this problem let me so I have two light sensors here one we're going to assume they're both the same one is on black one is on white and so the one on black reads 34, 334. The, ones, the one on white reads 65. And so the average between the two is 49. So if you want to choose a threshold, that would be 39, 49-ish would be a good one. Now if we turn on a br bright light, we get 85 for no, 59, sorry, 59 for the one on black and 85 for the one on white. And our threshold is 71. So it's been shifted by around 20 units, which is a lot. Especially since now your black is actually white. So that's why we need a shield. So this way, regardless of how bright it is, it's still going to be the same reading. So, let's start building. So, what you're going to need to build this attachment, we're going to start from scratch so I can show you how to attach sensors, the two sensors as well. Connecting it to the robot will be your task. So, what we're going to need is obviously two light sensors. Okay. Then we're going to need five, five by three bent beams, angle beams. Five two by four bent beams, the ones with the cross on top. Two um, perpendicular technique beams with. Um, pegs, two of those, two perpendicular axle joiners, this, those, Th three size five beams, so beams with five holes, rounded beams with five holes, one size seven beam, so it's beam, rounded beam with uh, seven holes, one size three beam, running beam, so running beam with three holes. Six, yeah, six long pegs, those long black or blue depending on the kit you have, pegs. Fourteen uh, connector pegs, the small version of the previous one. And two axle pegs. So pegs with an uh, axle at the end. Okay, I think I've said everything. Let's start building. So the first thing you're going to need is a 2x4 uh, beam and two long pegs. So we're going to connect those two long pegs on the holes of the in the holes of the um, long side of the 2x4 for beam so once you, they should go all the way through so you should see them sticking out on one side and the other you should have it should be like this so you should see one free cross hole then peg peg one free cross hole and the short side is oh one free round hole and the short side has two holes so if we see it like this Now we need 3x5 
bent uh, angle beams, so the wrong ones, the bigger ones. We connect them under 2x4, like this, so that's this way they're the same way, so the long side on the 3x4 is on the, on the same side as the long side of the 2x4, and same for the short sides. So, on the long side of the 3 by 5 we should have from the outermost part here we should have hole, hole, peg, peg, hole and the short side is completely free of uh, pegs so it's hole, hole, hole okay now we need two more long pegs that we're going to connect like this so on the short side we should have peg, hole, peg with pegs stinging out the most so see this this part this p part here the one here on the right goes in the hole okay we do the same thing on the other side so we need two more long pegs to do it on the other side all right like this we should get something like this at the end now we add our two sensors, like this, sensor side facing down on the, like this. So the connector side is on the same side as the long side of the piece we just did before. Okay, And the sensor part has nothing. All right, now we need two size five rounded beams that we're going to connect like this. So we have hole, peg, hole, peg. Same on the other side. Hole, hole, peg, hole, peg, hole. Three, maybe like this. Hole, peg, hole, peg, hole. Like that this now we take our perpendicular axle joiners put them on the only there's only two ways of putting it let me show you see two ways when where it's on top and when where it's at the bottom and we want the one where it's at the bottom So if you take your sensors facing down, you should have a hole, a peg, and the axle joiner. Okay. Now we need the perpendicular technique beams with pegs. Two, the two of them. We put them in the holes of the axle joiners with the pegs facing down, like this. Pegs facing the sensor side of the sensor. Now we need two 3x5 angled beams. Open them like this. Connect them to the perpendicular technique beams with pegs with the short side facing away going in front of your sensor. So this is the front, this is the back, this is the back, this is the top, and this is the bottom. Okay, this part here is the bottom. So this way when I say top, front, back, bottom, that's the way I will say it from now on. Okay, so the short side of the three by five beams facing front. Now we put it upside down again. We're going to take the size 7 beam and rest it here in the back side of the sensor. Uh, it doesn't stay, st it's not stable, it's going, but we're going to attach it right now. So for that you need 3 and 3, 6 
pegs. And two two by four bent beams. So the first thing we're going to do is take this seven beam, put two pegs at each end, both facing the same direction. Doesn't really matter as long as they're both both sides are facing the same direction, it doesn't matter which orientation it is. Um, now we're going to put the two leftover pegs at the end of the long side of our four uh, three by five beams. So right here, there, and there. That's where we put our pegs. And now we take our 2x4 and we attach it with the long side on the beam. So there's only one way to do it with the long side on the beam. And as you can see, like that. Now we need to. So see, now the back is protected. If you put it against the ground, you don't see it. The back is protected from light. Now we need to protect the front and the middle and the sides. So we need one more, the last five size five beam. And we need, oh no, there should be one more. No, we're good. Last size five beam. And two, two by four angle beams. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five pegs. Yes, five pegs. So we're going to um, put our all our pegs on the short side of the no, actually, no. We're going to put two pegs at the end of each end of the short side of the three by five. And we're going to put our two by four right there. Okay. And now the last peg I told you to get, put it in the back right here, where my thumb is. I don't know if you can see it very well. Here. It's not easy to see, but it's here, right there. Where, where, right there where this hole is. And we're going to attach the five beam in the middle, right here. Now we have an opening on top. We're going to fix that. That's where the pegs come in, the axle pegs. So, oops, sorry, two axle pegs one connector peg on the holes left in the center, the three holes, like that. So axle peg, connector peg, axle peg. And now we take our three and we put it, join those together. There. And we have two leftover pegs, we can put them in those holes. Doesn't really do much, but it's gonna start. There, are those holes. This one and this one. And we have just like IKEA one extra piece left. But if you get another one of those two by five, you can connect them on the side. There, and you don't have pegs sticking out. Okay. Now let's see what it reads. 
with and without the light. All right, we put it. All right, so we get um, 64 for the white, 46 for the black, and 55 as our threshold. Now, if we turn on the light, we get 46 for the black, 64. 64 for the white and our threshold is 55 so light no light doesn't really matter it works the same and if we tilt it a little bit it doesn't really change that much so there you go that's the shield or you 